regarding which every other candidate was defi- would be definitively on the wrong side of the line, particularly including Ron Paul. Because the Paul campaign, of course, uh, is in truth an advocate of banking. He's said over and over again that competing currencies or, or, um, or uh, um, competing banks uh, would somehow solve the problem, although he never has stated how, and thus he has never demonstrated how in any credible way that should garner any uh, responsible support from the people. His supporters are merely hopeful that ending the Fed, which is to retain the things that the Fed is, which is only interest and volumetric manipulation, um, still somehow that that's going to solve it, uh, our problems as if just painting Ron Paul's bank on, you know, every Federal Reserve Bank would somehow change things without changing the currency, which causes all this. So Ron Paul's candidacy is, is in truth, uh, as I estimated at least, is, is, is utterly preposterous. I mean, I've had people trying to get us to put us together since 1980. He's never responded once to anyone, uh, except perhaps a few of those closest to them in some kind of um, confidential way, which was not relayed back to me. But ask yourself, do any of these candidates, not just Ron Paul, but do any of these candidates have an alternate solution for inflation? and deflation? Absolutely not. And this is second grade math. So we have to become suspicious of these people. Where are they going? Can we afford another four years of this? Well, you know, however many of us will survive whatever happens somehow, suffering whatever damages we do. It, I would be an alarmist if I'd said all these 43 years that the sky is falling and we won't survive it and we can't afford another four years, but we did. And we can't afford the next four years, but we did. You see, but this is at cost to all of us. And the costs get ever more severe the deeper we get in terminal failure. It's very, very possible that we would see worse effects than in the first Great Depression for a number of reasons. Uh, Less of us are prepared to be self-sustaining. The debts are far worse because they've been nurtured further into terminal failure than occurred at the end of the first Great Depression and so forth. So we can't really afford uh, another four years of these. This, and, and in truth, it's to our great discredit that we aren't rushing about um, across the world to establish mathematically perfected economy immediately. And I don't mean next month or let's wait a few more weeks before we master this material often, which is delivered to us in a single radio program in um, to sufficient extents to compel us to unite over uh, this proposition of singular solution in mathematically perfected economy. So it's 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 basically hopeless to count on these uh, pretended uh, political representatives who in fact have other agendas in mind and who are actually in fact disinterested in the only thing that can save us. So I can say that many days have gone by and I haven't heard from the Bachman campaign again. Of course, I can make a follow-up call after follow-up call after follow-up call. Likewise, I have made a number of follow-up calls to the uh, 
uh, formative Perry campaign. And of course, I don't know that I'm actually talking to people who are um, powerful or influential enough in his formative campaign to reach him. But I am given that impression that, in fact, uh, my proposition could be delivered to him already. Uh, within minutes after uh, stepping off a plane the other day. Um, so uh, I'm not going to play the uh, the Perry conversations uh, because it wouldn't be right. Uh, but uh, I did make a call to uh, Ron Paul presidential campaign headquarters just yesterday. And uh, I think I'll play this and... and uh, and uh, and then we'll make uh, respond to uh, to the state of affairs as uh, reflects the response or lack of response of these presidential candidates and yet another term down the road of terminal failure. Thank you for calling Ron Paul's 2012 presidential campaign. If you know your party's extension. Please dial it now. If you would like to make a contribution, please press 1. If you would like to volunteer with the campaign, please press 2. If you are a member of the press seeking comment or an interview with Dr. Paul, please press 3. If you would like to purchase something from the Ron Paul campaign store, please press 4. Please note that due to high volume of calls, campaign staff members will be unable to answer policy questions over the phone. For comments and questions, please consider emailing or writing the campaign. For all other questions, please press 5. I've just pressed 5. Excuse me. Hi, um, Mike Montani here. Um, I'm a uh, founder of uh, People for Mathematically Perfected Economy and host of the international talk show, radio show, um, on Mathematically Perfected e Economy as well. And um, I'm uh, calling to make an offer to the Paul campaign, and I am recording the telephone discussion. So um what i would like to do if i may say so now is to offer mathematically perfected economy as a campaign platform i understand of course that mr paul is an austrian economist people have tried to put us together for practically 25 30 years now so um i'm hoping to be able to discuss with someone um the uh, controversies of Austrian economics and uh, a mathematic proof of singular monetary solution, which of course would save our country from the failure that Mr. Paul has complained about. Before we listen to the uh, rest of the discussion here, I'd like just like to interject that um, the way I'm uh, expressing these things is is purposely not alarmist again, but. What I'm trying to get across here is is, 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 is is very subtly said that Mr. Paul has never provided an absolute solution to our monetary issues. He hasn't even identified the problem because Austrian economists, so-called, are in fact uh, advocates of banking and interest without qualification. I have much conversation. Uh, you know, correspondence from purported Austrian economists simply advocating interest um, without any uh, uh, mathematic or other justification of interest, which, of course, is preposterous to think could even exist in light of the obfuscation of the currency. And, of course, Mr. Paul's dear friend, G. Edward Griffin, his you know, recently stepped further in toward plagiarizing my work in responding to a 2008 presidential campaign article, which I uh, 
wrote in response to G. Edward Griffin's attempt to, to, to disprove my thesis of, of inevitable failure. Griffin wrote an article claiming that we could, you know, wax floors at the bank and, and earn back the interest that we're paying out of circulation, not even mentioning, of course, the principal, which, of course, is, is further incumbent upon us. So, of course, what my responding article points out is that in order for us to wax floors or whatever enough uh, to negate this multiplication of falsified indebtedness in proportion to a vital circulation or remaining capacity to uh, service debt from that circulation, we, of course, have to earn back just not some of the principal, but all of it, which, of course, is, has never transpired in history, not even close to it. We, don't, we, we put such a little dent in earning back what uh, interest we pay out of circulation that the effects are entirely negligible. Griffin, in turn, in his more recent um, uh, re-publication uh, of uh, his uh, plagiarism of Mullen's work, The Creature from Jekyll Island, um, a second look at the Federal Reserve, so-called, it's actually just the same look. Uh, he uh, he claims that the proportions don't even matter, you know. So this is what kind of uh, preposterous theoretician or mathematician either G. Edward Griffin is and uh, Ron Paul is as well. You know, Ron Paul has hailed this book as, as, as ma making some remarkable s discovery that money actually is created out of nothing, that they're, the bankers give up. Uh, nothing in the creation of money, which um, Griffin reaches for my words, borrowing from my identification of the problem and pretending to author it himself. But how far can the Austrians even go with this? Because um, if, if they pursued it to its end, uh, it would disprove the obfuscation of the currency would prove that the bankers give up in, in giving up no lawful consideration. There's no justification of interest, whereas the entirety of Austrian economics is an advocates interest without justification or qualification, any, any qualification whatsoever. You see, as I have mentioned earlier, in fact, uh, uh, in early Austrian uh, Eugen Baum Baywork, um, you know, spends the first uh, half a dozen or so chapters of his book merely building a case that the only thinking, it's not even a, a scientific basis, but the only um, adversity uh, to interest was based on mere religious sentimentality. In other words, uh, he refuses likewise to evaluate um, the ramifications and purported justification of interest on any mathematic basis whatsoever. And yet, here is Griffin, you know, stealing my idea and pretending to, you know, to parade it as, as his own. And the truth is, he hasn't even but begun to realize the first thing about this obfuscation, which itself invalidates all of the purported discipline of Austrian economics. So I'm asserting this more or less softly to the Paul campaign here to, to minimize uh, potential interpreted offense, but likewise to prove nonetheless or to, to, for them to intuit that I'm uh, raising the fact that Mr. Paul has never raised solution nor have Austrian e economics either. So uh, I can also say that uh, I had uh, numerous discussions during the 2008 Paul campaign, uh, which precipitated from an answer of a telephone person whose name was Andrew, who asserted immediately upon hearing the title of the organization that I founded, 
um, he asserted that everyone knows that it's impossible to mathematically perfect economy and to which I responded that uh, do you mean to tell me that if inflation and deflation are defined respectively as increases or decreases in circulation